Well, howdy tubers. Well, I had a message from subscriber Jesse. Uh, he was wondering how the the big stick was doing with the two smoker engine on there. And of course, it's right there. And I messaged him back saying that uh, I still got it, but I've got a few other airplanes that I'm flying. So, and this isn't all of them because I, could, I didn't bring the B-25 out because it is right there and didn't bring these out because I'm giving them to my boy. And I've got another one inside I didn't bring out that I'm giving to my boy. And also I think I got seven or eight electrics that are in boxes that I didn't bring out. So course now not all of these did I build but 98% of them I did build uh, and now this here of course is the one that went in the tree today but I didn't hear them if they said it but anyways they said uh, that uh, they had a pole down in their storage unit and so I went down there and got that after I'd been up there for several hour, hours and and we poked it out of the tree right there it is and so of course now this is a scratch built nobler control line nobler it's got foam wing like i do everything of course here's a control line or, or not control line this is a scratch built rc nobler with three tracks and plug-in wings of course you all know about the flea fly our flea fly 10 flea fly plus 10.1 and then, of course, there's the stick I had out there today, courtesy of those fuselage sides that I got at the swamp meet here in town that time. They just looked like they were a stick fuselage, so I made them. And Lanny, that he let me fly his electric out there, electric control line today, uh, he's the one he would let me fly his P-51 like this. And so I had to have one. Of course, that's probably my third or fourth one. Well, actually uh one of them was down in that tree so anyways okay oh uh, i didn't bring out the wing for my for my dad's which i didn't build this but i finished it and then a guy at church his his mother told me about her son and he gave me some model airplane stuff this was 20 years ago or so and uh, had the plans for this airplane in there. I can't remember what the name of it is. So I scratch built it. Here's a big old hot rod. Here, I'll give you, give you how big it is or how small it is. It does, I guess you can say fly, but as soon as the engine quit, it just falls to the ground. Of course, there's the phaser I flew today and my strap broke. So I had that on the bench to fix that. And that one's at least 20 years old. I call it my um, Eagle V. Here's, of course, another, another little stick like the green one. And there's New Era 3. And, okay, here's a, here's a Junior Nobler. I don't think I built this. I got this back when I was a kid. And... I think, I, well, I had two of them. One of them, I, I went ahead and changed it over to RC. And then this one, I guess, left control line. Haven't flown that in several years. And of course, this was my dad's that and I didn't bring out the lower wing uh, that I got going electric. And I haven't went and flown it again. This is my Chaos that I haven't flown. Well, I've flown it quite a bit, but I haven't flown it lately. And this here is an ARF top flight flight streak, which I always liked the, the half A flight streak. And I've got a kit of one of those to build. build. And here's a scratch built Midwest P40 control line. Uh, that I, yeah. And this is an ARF called a Tidewater that does a Tidewater tum tumble, we call it. And this here called an escape it, it was an arf that my 
a cousin in Tennessee's son gave me, and then I put an engine and radio in it. Or I don't know, it might have had some of the radio. I've only flown it once. And this is an R Fockwolf 190 with Retrax. And, of course, uh, this Ultra Sport 40 that I test flew today. With, that was uh, Dan's brother, Don's airplane that I got last Friday, I guess it was. Got it going. And... Of course, here's my my float stick, which is a scratch-built sweet stick with foam wing, like I like I do. Which I did video of building that one. And of course, here's my B25 tail. Show you some of the detail there. And yes, that hole's supposed to be there. I don't know what it's for, but it's supposed to be there. So that's the detail I'm putting in there. Of course, this is scratch built too from the Zeroli 90. Oh, what was it? 102, 103, whatever inch plans, and then I had them blowed up to 12 foot. So, Jesse, this is why I hadn't got my scratch built big stick out there there's a lot of them i haven't flown in a little while so now you know and like i said well i probably could find some other ones in there too well i know i've got another one in my mini master is in there but i've given it to my boy too and of course i've got the stagger wing which you know about and the b25 of course you know about and I've got a Byron's P-51, Byron's Corsair, Byron's F-16. I don't remember if I said Corsair. But Byron's Corsair, all, all to build or rebuild, one of the two. So, I'm, I'm not hurting for airplanes. So, and, of course, in uh, um, yesterday, I got, got a couple little half-A control line airplanes from uh, a guy at the airport. And then, of course, um, last week when I got the Ultra Sport 40 there, I got two other airplanes that I'm giving my boy and, and also um, two electrics, which I got them working, but I can't get the motors to work. So, anyways, I just thought I'd do, <laughs> I'll say a quick video, but it took me a while to get all these out and set up here as much as I could and <coughs> excuse me and so there's my brood of airplanes there you go have a great day God bless you. It's good weather today it's supposed to go bad tonight I guess but there you go God bless